So you probably clicked on this video because you want to learn how to implement the Gorilla Locomotion into a Gorilla Tag fan game or Unity. Well, you have the right, you have the right person, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to use Unity and how to implement the Gorilla Locomotion for your upcoming VR game or a Gorilla Tag fan game. And that's so, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so once you're over here... You want to make sure you have Unity Hub installed and a powerful enough PC to run Unity. For me, I have a powerful enough PC to run Unity. And you want to make sure you have a version of Unity installed that c that can run um can run VR basically. Basically, I'm using 2021.3.10 f1 LTS, which it has Android, Web, GL, and Windows support. If you don't know how to get that set up then you probably want to watch a video on it because I will not be going through it today. But anyway, let's just head over to projects. You want to head over to projects, create new project. Then you want to click 3D core. If you see anything else other than that, like, like running games, 3D mobile, 2D mobile, you don't want to click those. Now you might be asking, well, why don't we click VR? Because if we click VR, some stuff might screw up. So you want to click 3D core, just name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my tutorial. Just create project, and what will happen is, you will get the thing set up, and eventually you will start seeing this, which will, will create the template, and it will get you to start up. And while we're doing that, you want to head over to your web browser. <laughs> Not sponsored. You want to head over here and search up Gorilla Gorilla Tag Locomotion. Search up Gorilla Tag Locomotion. You'll see a GitHub link for another Axiom Gorilla Locomotion. You want to click on that. And then what you want to do is you want to go. Then you want to click on Gorilla Locomotion Unity package. Then you want to click the download button right here. I already have it installed, but just to show you, you want to click download. And you'll see it'll download up here. So now that we have that, we can all close out. And I'll give it a minute for it to load up. Okay, so now once it loads up, you should be greeted by this. This is the Unity editor. And it's actually pretty easy to navigate through. But first of all, we will need to enable some stuff. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to Edit. Then you want to go down here to Project Settings. And then you want to scroll down until you see XR Plugin Management. And just click Install XR Plugin Management System. And it will install the XR Plugage Plugin Management System. I can't speak today. And it will go through. And you should see a folder down here in the Assets that says XR. Don't mess around with it right now. But what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on Open XR. Just Open XR. You don't want to click on Oculus or Unity Mock HMD. You want to just click on Open XR. And I'll install the packages for Open XR. And now you should be greeted with this. I'll say this project is using the new input package system, but the native platform backends to the new input system are not enabled in the player settings. This means that no input from the native devices will come through. Do you want to read? Do you want to enable the backends? Doing so will quote unquote quote restart the editor. Just want to click yes. And what will happen is it will um, reset, restart the editor. And yeah. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give it a minute. Because it will close out and then it will reopen within a few seconds. Just like that. And it will load up everything, and, it, and you should be taken back to the same page that you were taken at. And it does take less time than originally when you first started the project, so don't worry. Okay, so now that we're back in, you, you'll see a little hazard mark that says your project has some settings that are incompatible with OpenXR. Click to open the project validator. So I'll click on this, then we'll click edit. And now when you're over here, you wanna where it says single pass it you wanna change out the multi-pass. Then 
the interaction profiles, you just want to click on plus, and I'm going to add the HTC Vive profile, Oculus Touch, and the Valve Index. So it's a little easy. So it's a little easier. So, you know. And over here in Android, you don't want to. You do not want to do anything right now because we will not be using Android. But but back when you're over here in XR Plugin Management, you want to head over to the Android settings and click on Oculus. This one's all the packages for Oculus, um, for the Oculus Quest system, such as the Quest 1, Quest 2, and Quest Pro. And I'm referring to it as Oculus because I don't like the name meta at all, so. So once Oculus is finished installing, you want to head over to Oculus. And it's the same thing over here. You want to go to single pass. It's changed the multi pass over here. You want to head over to the Android bot. You want to change the multi view to multi pass and, and enable low overhead mode. And you'll. And at the same time, you can also enable Quest, Quest 2. And if you, if you think your game's going to be too powerful for the OG Quest, you can also disable it for the OG Quest. So now that we have our XR plugin management system, I actually forgot something. <laughs> but you'll actually want to head back over to Oculus because I accidentally forgot it. And you want to, and you actually want to head over to OpenXR, where it says Android. You want to also change it to MultiPass, and then you just want to change it over to Oculus Touch Controller Profile. Alright, that, that should be it. And you can also enable quest support, which I am going to do. And I'm just going to X out of that, and we should have the problems. So now that we have OpenXR set up, we also need to install a few packages. So go to Window, and then you want to head over to Package Manager. Then this will open up. And then you want to click the plus icon up here, and click Add Package from Get URL. And I'll type in com, type in com, c o m dot unity dot x r dot inter interaction dot toolkit. And if you type this in, if you type this in correctly, it will install the XR Interaction Toolkit. And now, once you have it's gotten the XR Interaction Toolkit installed, it will go through like compiling C# -sharp scripts, loading script assemblies, and stuff like that. But you don't want to worry about that. And it'll say XR. XR interaction layer mask update required. Just click I've made a backup, go ahead. And now you have the XR interaction toolkit. So yep, you should be ready now. Which of course is not the only thing we're gonna be using, of course. It's Cause there's a, a lot of more stuff we need to use. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to, where is it, should be, oh yeah, you want to go to Assets, Custom Package, and then you want to go to the Gorilla Locomotion. You want to, you want to import everything, so just check mark everything, <laughs> and then I'll say the following. Oh, the following up it seems have been changed on disk. You just want to click reload. And boom. So you should now have five folders. Resources, scenes, scripts, XR, and XRI. Or XRL. And now you want to go to... And now if we go to resources, Gorilla Prefabs, you'll see Gorilla Rig. Which we don't want to do anything with Gorilla Rig right now. Which I'm pretty sure I forgot some. Pretty sure it's in package. Yep. Okay. So since we have everything installed now, go back to your package manager. You want to 
go to samples and go import the starter assets. And that's the only one, you don't want to import anything else. So now, once you have your starter assets, you should be taken over here. Which from here, we will have everything set up and everything. So it'll be assets, it'll be in, it'll be in samples, XR interaction, 2.2.0, starter assets, and then you should have seven, if I'm, if, you're, if I'm correct. So what you want to do is you want to come up here and you'll see like the default snap term preset. You want to click add to action based snap term provider default or anything. It depends. So you just want to add everything up here, which is pretty easy and it should not take long. And just keep doing it for the seven. And once you're done, you should be good now. Okay, so now we are ready. So with the five folders, we will also need to make, you know, a layout. So we will just click up. We will go ahead and head up here with the plus 3D object, and we're just going to create a cube. Which, if you ever use Blender, it is kind of like that. What you need is it is kind of like Blender. So if if you used Blender before, this will probably be a pretty easy tutorial. So I just want to scale it. I'm going to scale mine to a pretty good size. I don't want it to be too big, but, you know. I'm going to go ahead and start terrain. I'm going to make it a pretty good size. And you can also use your arrow keys to navigate. You can also zoom in, zoom out. Which I'm on a laptop, so. I have to use a trackpad. But now since we're done making a plane, we can actually create a new folder. And I'm just gonna call it materials. And now that we have our materials folder, we wanna click on it and then create. Right click create. Then just head over to material. And I'm just gonna name this green. So what it'll do is it'll come over here and you can change the rendering mask from opaque, cutout, fade to transparent. But we ain't worried about that right now. But what we can do is we can head over here, click on this, and since it's green, we want to make it green. So I'm going to make it green. And you can also look up here to look what green you're getting. You want a pretty good green, pretty light green, like that. And you can also change your stuff over here if you like. So you just want to exile that. And you can also have the metallic smoothness. Which the more metallic you get, you know, might your PC might explode like mine. Might just be mine though. Anyway though, we what we can do with this material is we can actually drag it onto this plane. And boom, now we have a grass plane. Even though it's not actual grass, I'm just still gonna call it a glass, gla gra I can't speak. A grass plane, sorry. But now since we're done, we can head over to resources, gorilla prefabs, and you'll see the gorilla rig like I was talking about. And you just wanna drag the gorilla rig over into the scene. Boom. Which, you will have some stuff. If you do go over here, you will have all this stuff. Just go back. You have your gorilla rig, which has everything. But for right now, you do not want to scale the player. Because scaling can have some trouble and problems. And I've experienced those, and they are not fun at all. So I guess see the hands are right there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move them lower. I'm gonna move them like right there. And yeah, it's perfect. So, what will happen now is your player will spawn right here. But before we even start the, the play test, we want to delete the main camera. And that's the biggest thing we needed to do, delete the main camera. So, the main camera will now be on the Gorilla Rig. 
So what will happen now is we will be able to head into our game and if we should be able to move with the gorilla locomotion, like gorilla tag. So let me get my um stuff set up and we should be good. Also a little disclaimer here real quick. You actually will need either Oculus, depending on the headset type you're using. You'll either need the Oculus app and SteamVR, but if you're using a SteamVR headset just by itself, then you should be fine. And if you are using a Quest 2, you do need, um, you do need to either use AirLink or regular Link, so, yep. So now what we can do is, so we have Oculus open, we can launch SteamVR, which keep in mind if my if my PC does blow up, I'm sorry. So just gotta let Steam load up. And... No, I can't change it. So basically we wanna let Steam VR load up. And inside the headset, you should see Steam VR. After you've been up correctly. And you also want to make sure that if you're using a something like sensors or something like that. Oh, whoops. If you are using sensors or stuff like that, you want to make sure that they're not blocked. Because if they are blocked, then some tracking problems might occur. So, yeah. You wear. So now that we have Steam Door and everything running, my PC just froze. Oh, there we go. Experience a little lag spike right there. Sorry. But here's what we can do now. We can head over and click play. And since it indicates that there is no online or... Oh, there's no online. Then you should just look in to it. And if you, and if you do boot in correctly... You should see that either the name of your project, you should see the name of your project. If you launch it correctly. And of course, it might take a minute, so. Just, you know. Which, just to make sure it works, you might also want to add some some like walls blocks around but i'm just gonna do a like a simple straight demo and then i will actually get in to the main process of like transporting items in and you know getting it getting it set up and goes well okay so now that we are Almost done. What happened in your headset is it'll say tutorial or whatever you named it. For me, it'll, uh, it says tutorial. And it crashed. Of course, if you launch it the first time, it might not be ready. So if you launch it the second time, you, it'll probably be ready to run. Because, of course, some things might happen. Some things might happen the first time, so. Of course, beware. You should see tutorial, and then it should launch if you've done it correctly. Mm -hmm. And now that we are in, you should be able to use the Gorilla Locomotion. Boom. So as you can see, I am walking. Just like you would in drill tech. And in the shadows, you should only see your hands, which are just two balls. But yeah. Don't don't fall off because there's nothing under you, so. Okay. But yeah, this is a platform that we're gonna be using for the game. And yeah, 
So now that we know that it works, you all can have shaders in your game, but it's mainly related to Gorilla Tag. That's probably not a good idea because Gorilla Tag games never, usually never have shaders, unless if yours wants to. But yeah, you have the plane now. So again, now you can start adding up objects. So now that we have fully established that the game works, here's what we can do. My PC will load. Okay. You can actually start creating a treehouse and everything, but I will not be showing that in the video. But you can also add blocks and stuff like that. But yeah, you've officially set up the Gorilla the Commission. So yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.